Don't worry. <laughs> I'm only okay. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out still for some reason. I thought it would be a good decision to hit record when I wasn't ready. I don't know if it told me to do that, but it wasn't me. I'm finally making the Harmony Korean movie review video that I said I would do like forever ago and then never did. So I'm gonna do it right now because I have it written up like a lot. So we're starting with Gummo. Gummo is my favorite movie. It's, it's what got me into his stuff and what got me to uh, watch the rest of his movies. It's like the, the, his style of film is like calming almost because it's just so all over the place and there's no expectation for the next scene. You're just kind of like, you're just watching it and, and you can walk away from it and come back and you don't really feel like you missed any piece of the plot because there really isn't a plot. And um, he, he said in an interview, that he doesn't really care for plot, that he, he really just cares about um, character and dialogue because that's what he remembers in life about people and about his days. And that's pretty much how everybody functions, I think, because there's no plot in life. And I think that's fantastic. I think that's why I like the movie so much. I think that's why I like his work so much, so. Um, and I, yeah, I completely agree with that, what you said about the plot. Um, it's also the, like, the scene that, the sequence of scenes that I love the most is the bathtub scene, which is like the most popular scene in the movie, I think. Um, and then followed by the scene where it's Bunny Boy kissing the two girls in the, t um, in the uh, pool and it's raining and something about that scene is like so refreshing because this the bathtub scene is just so disgusting and you just like want it to be over and then the, that that cool scene comes up shortly after and it's it's just such a refreshing scene and that scene is what got me to really like the movie so much so um, that's about it. I also drew a little picture of the foot but so um, and I live near a highway, so that's why there's, like, noise. Um, okay. The second movie that I wrote about was the movie Kids. And I think everybody should watch this movie because it's got a good message and it's not too crazy. Um, it's, it's super sad. Um, he, so he didn't direct the movie, but he wrote it, I believe. And uh, there's there's like there's this scene where um, I can't remember her name in the movie, but Chloe, um, she's she's in the taxi, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil it a little bit. So spoiler alert. Uh, she's hang on. I feel like I need to pull the taxi. I have like not great eyeballs. They do the thing. Oh, I'm wearing a headband. Okay. My eyeballs do weird shit. I don't know. So. Glasses. Um, anyways, so she's in the taxi and she just found out that she has AIDS and she's like just completely unfazed by everything that's going on by everything that passes her in the car, by the taxi driver, everything he's saying, he's completely unfazed, and, and the taxi driver is then able to make her smile by something he says, I can't remember what exactly he says, but um, he made her smile, and it's like, it's such a great scene, it's so beautiful, and the music in it is like, it's really nice, and then that, that moment of this in the scene, she's just suddenly she for, it's like she forgets that she has AIDS and she's just in bliss for a second because the taxi driver is just so calming and funny and relaxed, and 
it's great. Um, and then at the other scene that is unforgettable is when Casper rapes her at the end. And obviously then he has AIDS because, yeah, so, fucked up. Um, and then there's the movie Julian Donkey Boy, which is really great. Every, um, it's, I think it's more disturbing than Gummo. I'm sure some people would argue me with that, but um, I, I, th I find it to be more disturbing than Gummo. Um, and it's, it's really comparable in the sense that it's like, uh, it's scattered and there's no, not much of a plot. It's really just characters, dialogue, and nonsense. Um, but I really love the characters in that movie. Um, I love the scene where Chloe is on the phone. Chloe's character, I can't remember her name. Um, I was on the phone with Julian and pretending to be his mom who died and she's like, have you been brushing your teeth? <laughs> and they just have this really sweet conversation and it's so sad because you know that she's dead but it's not actually her. Um, and my favorite scene in the movie ever is when they're at the dinner table and Julian is talking to his dad and he's like, I have a poem. And he's like, okay, let's hear the poem. And then Julian reads it and he's like, morning chaos, evening chaos, noon chaos, midnight chaos, eternity chaos, morning chaos, noon chaos, eternity chaos. And he just repeats this over and over and over. And then the dad's like, this is a terrible poem. He's just saying chaos over and over. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but I think it's a fantastic poem because that's his, that's his life, chaos 24-7. And I, mean, I, think it, I think it's a really good poem. Um, and then, yeah, this also the scene where Chloe's in the field and she's singing the, like, what's that called? Lamb of God, whatever. <laughs> it's really good. Um, okay, and then there's Mr. Lonely. Mr. Lonely is probably, it's definitely not the most disturbing, but it's definitely the saddest movie, I think, from him. Um, and uh, I, I think the characters, the characters are obviously funny because it's a movie about characters. And um, it's so sad because what's his, uh, the fake Michael Jackson and the fake Marilyn Monroe get married and, or they don't get married, they fall in love. And fake Charlie Chaplin is like insane. He's one of my favorite characters though because he's just so funny, but he's so evil. Um, and like the whole, the whole movie is so beautiful. It's, it's so ridiculous and over the top that it's just like funny to even, like you can't describe the plot of it without laughing because it's just so ridiculous but when you're watching the movie it's it's so good and it's so like uh, like I don't know genuine it's just so it's just interesting I don't think I don't think there's any other movie like it it's really great and the, the, the my favorite scene ever I think is so sad when they have to kill the lambs or the or the goats I think they're no they're sheep they're sheep lambs they're sheep and they have to kill them because one of them is diseased. And they have to kill all of them. And they, so they have the Three Stooges people go out there and shoot all the lambs. And it's so sad and everybody's just around crying. And there's this song playing Hangman by somebody. Um, but it's a fantastic song and I think I think that seems like the saddest scene in like all of his movies. Um, it's definitely one of the best movies I've ever seen. Um, it's it's like it's like the whole movie is like a dream. It feels like a really vivid and perfectly described dream. It's like the movie. It's so beautiful. Um, so the, the movie Ken Park, these aren't really in order, I don't know, I don't think they're in order, but um, 
So Kim Park is really fantastic. Uh, it starts out with one of my favorite scenes in any movie across the board, which is the scene where um, Ken Park himself goes to the skate park and he sits right in the middle of the busy skate park and no one really pays much attention to him. He just sits there. And he gets out his backpack, he gets his camera out and he starts recording. And then he gets his gun out, he puts the camera next to him, and he just shoots himself in the head on camera and in public in front of people. And I think that scene is like so crazy and I think of it a lot. It's the fact that he did it in public in a busy crowd and on camera is... And then the fact that nobody was paying attention to him at all as he did it. Um, says a lot about his character, I think, and I think it's, I think it's fantastic. And that's the only bit of his character that you get. The rest of the movies is other characters. Um, there's definitely really creepy parts of the movie, like Tate's character. Tate's character is just crazy. Um, very hateable character. He kicks his dog, he mur murders his grandparents. Um, he nearly dies choking himself and masturbating. <laughs> it's really, really insane. And, and Peach's dad, Pe the relationship between Peaches and her dad is like, unreal. <laughs> um, but the, the opening scene is like my favorite thing ever. Um, so let's see, I'm almost done here. Spring Breakers. I fucking love Spring Breakers. I think Spring Breakers is a great movie. The more and more I watch it, the more I like it. At first, I kind of rolled my eyes at it. So I'm like, what the hell is this? It's nothing like his other movies. But it's it's actually fantastic. It's a bunch of fucking Disney people. And they're just like killing people. And like... I don't even know. The whole thing is just crazy and then James Franco's character is insane because he's insane and I don't even know I don't have a lot to say about this movie because this is a movie that I've watched the least amount of times um, I think in the beginning it's so like purposely um, stupid and he kind of does that I think on purpose and then it just becomes, it just unwinds itself into this, like, ridiculous movie with ridiculous people in it. <laughs> and, like, it just becomes crazier and crazier throughout the movie. It starts very normal and very, like, like you want to roll your eyes at it. And then it just becomes weirder and weirder and it becomes more and more like a harmony Korean film. Like, there's one particularly, uh, particular scene in the movie that reminds me of Harmony, that is very much Harmony Crane, and it's, um, I can't remember which girl it is, I think it's the Vanessa Hudgens girl, or it could be the Ashley, whatever girl, but they're in the bathroom, and she's just alone in the bathroom on the floor, and she puts a gun in her mouth, and she doesn't kill herself, but she just puts it in her mouth, and... I remember watching the movie and being like, oh, there he is, there's Harmony Korean. That's, that's, that, that was very much, like, definitely his, more his style, or, pre, you know, old style of weirdness in the movie. Um, Trash Humpers, I don't really have much of a review for Trash Humpers because I never finished it. I don't know. I think it's funny. I'd like to watch it eventually. I don't know. I probably should have watched it before making this, but I didn't. Sorry. Um, and then there's Beach Bomb. Beach Bomb is fairly new. It's like so good. It's so good. I highly recommend that everybody watches it. It's funny. It's sad. The characters are like perfect. Um, Captain Black is like the funniest fucking character in like any movie I've ever seen. The whole scene with him had me like in tears laughing so hard. Um, literally every single character in that movie is super likable in their own way. Every single character. And just the, the people who played all the characters were like perfect. 
um, Snoop Dogg's in it, fucking Matthew McConaughey or whatever, however you say his last name, McConaughey, 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 I don't know, but um, it's so great, and it's, it's such a colorful movie, it's so saturated and bright, it, like, you know, at, like right after it rains and everything's wet, and then there's just like the sky is so colorful, and there's a rainbow, and it's just, it's just fantastic, that's how the movie is. That's what the movie is to me. It's just so great. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much all the movies, I think. Uh, I think there might be more. I don't know, but s s let me know if there's more. And then his book, my favorite book of all time, is A Crack Up at the Race Riots. Um, actually, I don't know where it is, it's, but it's my favorite book ever. I have a bookshelf right here. Oh, here it is. It's my favorite book ever. Um, there's this series of pages where it's suicide, fake suicide letters that he wrote. And it's like, I love this book. I love this book with my whole heart. I read it so much in high school. I literally like, I would read it like every day in high school. I bring it to school and take it out at the end of class if I had time. So, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed my really bad review of how many cream movies. Um, and look at my necklace that I made. Well, I bought the charm and the chain, so I didn't, I didn't really make much about this, but... I think it's cute. Okay, peace out.